Our Malaysian government has announced Solar Atta, the new rooftop solar program starting 1st December. But we already have Xiaoko. Should we still wait for Solar Atta or Xiaoko? From what we know, ATAP allows us to export excess solar energy back to TMB Grid and get paid at system marginal price. Basically, it's the monthly market rate. What about Xiaoko? Xiaoko, no export. You use all the solar energy you generate. This means you will need to size your system to match your usage. But it's more flexible. You can do rooftop, ground mounted, and even floating solar. Not this one, that one. For those of you with high maximum demand, ATAP would allow solar system installation up to 100% of your maximum demand. So let's say, if your factory maximum demand is 500 kilowatt, you can install 500 kilowatt solar system. Xiaoko, on the other hand, has no official cap. So since you can't export your excess energy back to the grid, oversizing your solar system is wasted energy. Which makes more sense for you? If you're using a lot of electricity during the daytime, Xiaoko saves you immediately. If you're expecting big surplus of energy, like idle weekends and low daytime use, ATAP might just be the one for you. More information on ATAP is yet to be officially released. Follow us for all the latest updates. And if you're unsure, talk to our energy experts. Remember to turn on your post notifications.